hello guys in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this simple infographics animation from this vox video we elect representatives to congress where every representative comes from a different district each district holds its own election and this is actually the third tutorial i'm making from this video and if you haven't seen the previous two please i'll be linking that in the description below and before we start please like and subscribe to our channel and if you want to support my small on my details channel you can do that on patreon or buy me a coffee so without wasting much time let's get into it so the first thing we need to do is to download the map so i've downloaded this map from freepix.com and before we import it into after effects we need to take it into adobe illustrator then i'm going to then i'll just unlock this here then delete the background and the texture which we won't be needing for this video i'm going to delete that then also delete this over here then down in the group i'm going to select the group here then go down to this option here then release to layer sequence so that each of them is in a separate layer then i'm going to select the first one then go down to the last one then drag them above outside of the layer then you can delete this object these two layers here which won't be needing anymore so what i did was that i renamed the each of the states we're going to be using so i'm going to, going to be using about seven states here california and washington oregon and the rest of them just the six western states here so i renamed them which will be our main com i won't go into all of the processes here because i renamed them and moved them above each of the rest of the layers so this is basically what we'll be doing so let's jump into after effects so instead of after effect i'm going to import the map i've worked on already which is us west coast map so i'll import it as a composition leave the layer size then i'm going to double click on this to bring that inside of into our timeline here and we already have a composition here which is 1920 by 1080 so before we go further i'm going to import a, a screenshot from the actual video which i want to use as my reference this vox video so i'm just going to steal this background color here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to layers go down here go to layers new and go down to solid then i'm going to take this color picker here and select here select this background color here and click ok then move that down to the end of our layers i'm going to delete this background here we don't need it so now you see you have we have that color as our background i'm going to delete also delete the screenshot then the next thing we need to do is i'll go down to two seconds our time indicator this is a shortcut to do that i'll go down to two seconds then i'll select everything except from these layers i've renamed everything from four down to 60. hold shift to select that select everything then i'm going to move them crop them down to two seconds so what we need to do is that i want everything to end here but i don't want them to disappear once so i'm just going to randomly so that they, they disappear randomly so you need to, just going to crop them randomly but you shouldn't exceed this out two seconds mark too it's just going to be a lot so i'm just going to do this quickly Now you can see that when we play back it all disappears randomly so this is what we want so the next thing we need to do is that i'm going down to two seconds and 10 frames forward then i'm going to select all the layers i named from nevada to washington then i'll bring up the p press p on my keyboard to bring up the position parameter then click on this keyframe here to set the keyframe from them then we will go down to three seconds and maybe three seconds and five frames forward depending on what you want 
I'll just do that seven seconds. Then I'm going to separate each of them just slightly from where they are now. So I'm just going to do that quickly also. So once you've separated them, select all of the keyframe, then make them easy ease by pressing F9. Then go down to your graph editor, select everything here. Then I'll move this first one down to the to this point. Then move the second one a bit, not to it won't get to the main point, but let's leave it like this. Then go back to our main core. Now, when you play through, you see that we have this animation, this split animation. So finally, I'm going to be at at three seconds and twenty k and twenty frames forward. I'm going to click on this diamond shape here to create another hold keyframe here. Then go down to maybe and before we do that, I'm going to make sure just going to drag this down to seven seconds so that our name animation continues. I'm going to go down to four seconds and 10 frames forward again then I'm going to bring in my proportional grid proportional grid here so that we can see what we're doing I'm going to align each of these mass map and horizontally on a straight line so this map this and uh, grid here will help us align it to this to this point here to the straight line here so i'm just going to do that also so after that the next thing we need to do is i'm going to select all the map layers including the unnamed layers i'm just going to select everything then pre-comb them and pre-compose them like this then I'm going to import a texture map. I'm going to use this texture one here. Then bring it down below, below our pre -com. Then make sure it's aligned properly. Down to the end. Then I'm going to change the track mat to alpha format then once you've done that double duplicate your precom turn it back on then change the the mode to either screen or add so i'll just go with screen so now you can see that there's a texture just behind behind our map layer now and once it animates, you see how it flows with the, the texture, which is really nice. And it's also in part of the original, what Vox did in that video. So once you've done that, the next thing we need to create is our infographics, the wheel, the wheel, I, I don't know the name. So just maybe add maybe four seconds and 20, 20 frames. I will go down to my rectangle tool here, then hold, press it down and select the ellipse tool. Make sure no, no layer is selected so that we can draw a shape. So no fill and stroke at 30 pixels. Then I'm just going to hold down shift so that my circle is perfect. Then draw something down like this, not too big. Something like this should be okay. Then I'm going to import another another screenshot to use as a reference for color so this shape here you can duplicate you can du either duplicate the shape or duplicate the ellipse one here which was, but for this tutorial i'm just going to duplicate the shape by pressing ctrl d then go for the shape one i'll go down here and add a trim part to it and um, before i do that i'm just going to take a color maybe go down to the stroke use the color picker to select this red here 
won't be able to see it because we have the other shape on top of it like this so we'll have that red we'll just make this red a bit a bit darker then i'm just going to turn off turn off the upper one for now then go back to our trim part then select a keyframe here bring down the end to zero percent then go forward like maybe five seconds or maybe five ten i don't know depending on what you want five ten then bring the red to like hundred percent then i also do the same thing for for the shape too So once you're done with both shapes, we just do F9 for easy ease. This isn't really necessary, but it's still good. And you can add a third color to it in case you want. In this case, they have a pink color, but I won't go into that. So once you do that, you can close that. And I also delete the screenshot here, which you won't be needing anymore. Just going to delete the screenshot. So you can then duplicate these two shape layers you can use one shape layer for for each of the map but it's still easy like this so you can duplicate each of these shape layer here for all of the all the rest of the map and animate them separately like that so and also we can also add maybe labels here like names and name of each of the states here to make it more unique and so so just so that we don't drag this uh, tutorial longer this will be the end and thanks for watching and please if this was helpful please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any question you can leave that in my comment section or chat me up on discord and i'll be able to help you so thank you